Hey guys, I'm just back here with another video. Um, today I wanted to um, touch bases on the topic about glutes. Um, a lot of people who live locally here by me, they've taken um, my B Glutiful classes um, workshops that I hold. Um, we learn about um, the effective exercises to do um, to build um, great glutes and also to build great legs. Um, and then we just chit chat and um, also they ask me questions, anything they want to know, um, how often to implement um, glute training and lower body training, just different things like that. It's a really great, great class. I, I, love, I love hosting them. Um, but I actually wanted to make a video um, to some people who clearly don't live local but kind of want to know a little bit about um, glute training. Um, a lot of people ask me how, first of all, just um, breaking down workout splits. Um, typically, I have um, my female clients train their lower body about twice a week. The reason why I do that is because your, your lower body actually can take a lot of poundage. Um, the volume of training that you have, um, your legs do respond much better to um, more than one time uh, per week. And um, most people, if you're a beginner, maybe one time a week is fine. But once, you, once you've once you been training consistently for about three months, you can move that up to about two weeks. And um, typically you'll see um, much better progress and also to um, the soreness subsides it doesn't you don't really get sore um, as often um, how, however um, what you do want to do is um, definitely stick to exercise that are more effective for example um, that my top three um, exercises that I always teach in my classes so you guys can take note of this is the squat um, the front or the back squat the deadlift and the hip thrust um, if you follow my Instagram at Elisa M. Limas, you'll, um, I'll write it down below, um, you'll notice that um, I do these often and they're definitely the main um, exercises that I have um, that I utilize. All I do to, in order to progress and grow my glutes and my legs is I just make sure that the weight is increasing or the repetitions are increasing and at, and at the end of the journey in reality, um, as long as the weights are increasing or the repetitions, you are making progress. So it's not not about going crazy with all these crazy exercises and I explain this in my classes I know a lot of girls on Instagram and Facebook they're showing you jumping on things um, you know little booty pumps little band work definitely they're they're effective um, I like to add those types of things at the end of the workout but I would never consider that my main um, uh, glute builder it's just your, bo your body needs more volume than that and more poundage. So I don't ever um, tell my clients that you can only do that. I know a lot of women who have great results with it, but um, most, most, uh, most women um, on average do need more heavy weight training with compound lifts. So that's usually why I always recommend the squat, the deadlift, and the hip thrust. Another thing I wanted to point out is um, you can actually add in an extra day of glute training to the week. So for example, if you train legs twice a week, which I always recommend women to do that, you've got to take care of your glutes, girls. Um, honestly, they're, they're super, super sensitive. They're super weak. We sit on them all day long. you got to really treat them um, well. I know you can't see them all day, but um, there's nothing like having a nice a nice tush, I mean, I, I, in my opinion. Um, what I do like to do is that on a, on, on a third day during the week, um, um, you can really add it to any other day, it doesn't really matter. I like to train just the glutes themselves. Um, that's when I like to do band work and I recommend that for my clients too. I'm um, doing a lot of resistance bands, um, focusing on just the glute area. It doesn't have to be big lifts. You could do like donkey kickbacks, um, you could do glute bridges. A lot of body weight stuff is fine if you train at home, even at the gym. Just really focusing on just the butt and um, really um, I'm targeting those muscles. Another thing I like to point out is um, whenever you do glute train um, is how you're activating the glutes. So for example, I always tell the girls, you really need to make sure you're squeezing. And um, it seems, it's kind of funny whenever we're um, training, I'm like telling them squeeze your glute, squeeze the glute, but it's super important. Um, like for example, I'll, I'll show you. So if you're here, right, and you're squatting down here, you come up and I tell them to squeeze. And when you come down, squeeze. So this top movement here is the one that actually matters, right? This is not really what I'm worried about. It's when you're coming up and you're 
squeezing, okay? So anytime you do any type of glute work, always make sure you're squeezing at the top. Make every rep count. And a lot of that is a mind-muscle connection. You have to really think about it. And um, I guarantee that every squeezy movement, it just, you could totally feel your glute just glute working. And sometimes you could feel it with just body weight too. Um, so definitely mind-muscle connection and um, training uh, your, your glutes two to three times a week believe it or not your glutes can take that much poundage trust me just get used to it start off with um training at least twice a week it could be body weight i, I don't mind but if you have the opportunity definitely add in deadlifts hip thrusts and squats if you don't know what these what those are i will make future videos but for now youtube them google it do what you got to do um get familiar with them and do them and then once you progress add in up to three times a week and i really really think that you'll see a big progression um and how perky your butt will get how round how hard they get and in all honesty um you'll it helps reduce cellulite too because you're able to fill in that area and also to training your lower body burns a lot of calories it's a large muscle group so um the more you train legs you'll notice you sweat a lot and i think that um that's awesome because you know you don't have to be doing a lot of cardio just train hard um really focus on isolating the glute area and i think you'll see a big um progression um in your in progress in your glutes I hope this helps. If you have any questions, um, feel free to email me, afit underscore training at outlook.com. Or um, you can um, find me on my Facebook, facebook.com backslash afit training. Thanks, guys. Bye.